Hi everyone, it's uh, Eugene or Zhenya from Ginger. We are here in Prague at Meat Factory and talking to Coffee Caps. First time I met, we met uh, Coffee Caps was a year and a half ago. And uh, as far as I remember, Roman just contacted Roman. Two Romans got together. <laughs> yeah. And uh, our Roman just told me about the company and uh, showed some, if I'm not mistaken, pictures. And uh, they agreed that on our way back home, we, we would just come here to Prague and check a few cabinets. Yeah, and uh, we, we just showed up. We uh, took the guitars, plugged in, uh, played a few riffs, compared, I, I myself compared a cabinet. They had some cabinet there, yeah. Uh, coffee caps cabinet with, uh, it was Aguilar's. It was Aguilar, Aguilar cabinet. And to my big surprise, coffee cap was better. And uh, well, this is how it all started. We, we then ordered the first pair of cabinets, one guitar cabinet and one bass cabinet for the upcoming, that time upcoming, if I'm not mistaken, Arch Enemy tour or something like that. No, 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 it was not Arch Enemy. I think it was for the States, for the States, right? So it, it, it arrived there. Uh, to the, uh, for, 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 for one of the tours in the States. Yeah, and then here we are still with Coffee Caps and I, I actually do believe that this is probably one of the best amp and cabinet company around the globe. Yeah, I, I did have uh, special require requirements for my bass sound. Uh, with uh, my first cab, it was uh, 2x12 and uh, I wanted to have more guitar sound. We, that time we were playing smaller venues when people were just right in front of the stage and they didn't want to bump they, uh, them up with my uh, low end frequencies and you know this punchy um, 4 by 10 or 8 by 10 sound right in, straight into the face and I wanted more guitar sound which would have a lot of mid frequency and uh, we just agreed that it would be the best idea would be to have two two twelves, and uh, basically just this. I, my requirements were more about the speakers, about the design. We wanted to have we wanted to have them in in green, and we we still have all our cabinets in green. Yeah, and um, also just size. I think size wise, it was that time it was still a, a bit of a problem, and we wanted to keep cabinets, let's say, compact. Yeah, the new baby I'm sitting on is my signature ginger, ginger base, 8 uh, by 10 cabinet, which is basically uh, separated into two parts. The upper part is Ampeg style splitted, so every speaker is splitted. The uh, bottom part uh, is connected with bass reflex, so basically this part of the cabinet gives me the punch and the high frequencies and this one gives me very very rich lows yeah and I also have a Twitter adjustable Twitter right here so and the knob is behind yeah all in a wonderful really really reliable case as far as I see I already checked it uh, for this third show in a row I use it as a podium I just jump on it and play so it's really solid yeah and hard so here we are <laughs> My, my, my chain is actually everything starts from Helix, which I use uh, as a pedal board with uh, a number of uh, compressors. And actually I have three different chains. One of those chains goes to the cabinet, which is basically my, the foundation of my sound, the clean bass sound. Yeah, and um, I'm using for a few months now, the Mark Bass Little Mark 3 uh, amp. Well. I chose Mark Bass basically because this is a perfect combination of sound quality and the size. So yeah, to be honest, uh, um, this this small guy beats everything of its size. Every every other every other amps just cannot be compared with this one if we're talking about yeah, such small models. Yeah, and uh, this is it. Yeah.